Juniper Networks is excited to announce the next major release of Self-Service RMA. Updates to the Self-Service RMA process will help you create your RMA faster while providing you with support and insights along the way. The case creation process is very similar to what you are already familiar with in the Juniper Support Portal. In this scenario, I'm going to show you how to use the new Self-Service RMA tool. When creating a technical case, after entering your details, you will be asked some questions. If you're facing a hardware failure, select yes, and then select the appropriate defective product. Select Create RMA and confirm that you have read and agreed to the guidelines explained here. Continue to answer questions and confirm if any listed knowledge base articles are applicable to your situation. These questions are dynamically generated based on your selected product and will guide you to either RMA creation or to potentially creating a case with JTAC as determined by your responses. After answering the questions, you will have the opportunity to upload log files. If you cannot or do not want to, make the appropriate selection and provide a reason. Once you are finished with a log file, click Done and submit by clicking Create RMA. Review and confirm any further dialogues as needed. Click Finish. A tech case and related RMA have been created. Once submitted, the system will generate a technical case number and RMA number and will email them to you. For more information on how to open and manage cases, manage RMAs, and perform other activities in the Juniper Support Portal, see the video and guides available on our JSP training website